Marisol 93, you're joining me for Witness, somebody go to Romance, Chapter 16, Cliffs of Moher. The next morning you awake to the soft murmur of the television. The parole hearing is scheduled for a month from today. You open your eyes to see Cassian perched on the edge of the bed, raking a hand through his hair. Cassian? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. Cassian reaches for the remote to turn off the TV, but you stop him. You didn't. I want to see this. On the screen, a now preteen Alyssa O'Connell stands in front of the courthouse, her eyes filled with even more intensity than you remember. Growing up into a real killer. Yep, killer of looks. A reporter in the crowd addresses Aisling, holding out her microphone to the girl once she finishes the question. Ellen Thompson, Northbridge News, can you tell us if you'll be testifying at the parole hearing? Of course I will. My parents should be out here with me, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that happens. The feeling of Cassian's hand on your shoulder pulls your gaze from the TV as he turns it off. Everything's gonna be fine. You'll do great at the hearing. My testimony will help decide if the O'Connells make parole. That's a lot of pressure. I need you by my side. I don't want to stand up there without you. How did they get parole for killing a person? You won't have to. I'll be with you the whole time. Cassian gathers your hands in his larger ones, kissing the tips of your fingers. But enough worrying. We came out here to have uh, get some time to ourselves before the hearing. Luckily, I've got just the thing to take your mind off of it. As Cassian leans over the bed to rifle through his luggage, you admire the strip of bare skin revealing around above his hip. Did you get me a present? Sitting back up, he presents you with a flowing dress and an elegant plaid pattern. <clears throat> Since I planned today as a uh, surprise, I wanted you to get something special to wear for it. It's gorgeous, but does that mean I s don't get any hints on about what we're going? None. Now try it on. You whip off your clothing and let Cassian watch as you shimmy into the dress. A dress that we have to pay for. Hey guys, look, it's a dress from Sabrina. Yay, that's a thing. I love it. How do I look? Lunging around across the room, Cassian's eyes slide over your curves, only to be quickly replaced by his hands. It's a million times better on you than the, the hanger. Thank you. Maybe it'll look just as good on the floor later. Once you're finished getting ready for the day, you and Cassian's head downstairs, where you sit down for uh, breakfast. A large pot sits on the table beside two teacups. Yes, coffee. This is exactly what I needed. Let me take a sip of the dark liquid, you cringe and whore. I don't think there's caffeine in that. Ah, yeah, the coffee here might be uh, not as strong as you're used to. He holds out his cup to you. Here, try my tea. It's made several towns over. Tea? If the coffee was weak, there's no way tea will suffice. Trust me, it will. It's black tea. Giving him a skeptical look, you take the cup to your lips and drink the substance inside. To your surprise, it's very strong. There's a smoky, earthy taste to it that reminds you a little of Cassian. Mmm, tea's Cassian while stealing his tea. Hmm, I'm not sold. I think I need another sip. Take another long gulp, but unable to hide the smile creeping across your face as you do. Hang on, now you're just drinking at all. Well, I can't tell if it's weight going working to wake me up, and let's example more. It doesn't count as tasting anymore if you drink the entire cup. Let them pour us another cup of tea. The server comes over with the breakfast you ordered, placing the steaming hot meals before you unfilling your cups before leaving you, and Cassian alone once more. You breathe in the smell of the freshly baked bread and sizzling sausages. Wow, I'm gonna eat everything on this plate. The food is one of the many things I've missed about living here. Biting into a slice of grilled tomato, you nod towards the round, toward the round, nearly black shapes on Cassian's plate. Damn the darker pieces. I have no clue. What are those? 
Drasheen. It's a type of uh, blood sausage. Did you say blood? Don't judge it by its name. Here, here's that chance you wanted to eat like a local. Glance away from the dish to meet the playful challenge in Cassian's eyes. With a mischievous smile, he picks up the plate piece with his hand and bringing it to your mouth. Yes, let Cassian feed you. I suppose taking a risk is part of the traveling experience. An essential one. You wouldn't want to be get boring with your food. A lack of excitement is hardly something I worry about when I'm with you. Leaning forward to meet him, you open your mouth and letting him slip the sausage inside. But um, shh. The meat slides onto your tongue and you suck the juice from Cassian's fingers as he pulls them out over the soft surface of your lips. Watching you is making me hungry. Mm, for breakfast. Among other things. You slowly chew the sausage, allowing the warm flavor of the herbs to unfold with the smooth texture of pudding and salty meat flavor. Cassian's gaze is fixed on your mouth as you flick your tongue out to stop a drip from running down your chin. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's very savory. I'm actually enjoying it. Because it's delicious. Don't get cocky. This doesn't prove anything. I said you like the tea, and now the sausage. Let me relish in the rarity of being right twice in a row. Nope. Too much danger. Too much too dangerous if the uh, habit go to your head. As you dig into your breakfast on your own plate, you catch Cassian grinning in a way you've never seen before. What are you thinking about? Nothing. Yes, yards written all over your face. I just can't wait to surprise you. Keeping it a secret is killing me. I want to know, but enthusiasm looks good on you. As much as I hate having to be patient, I like watching you unable to contain your excitement more. Uh, it's one of the reasons I'm terrible at poker. If I really wanted to know, I'm sure I could have think of a few ways to make you spill everything. You're leaning across the table towards Cassian when a thunderous voice interrupts you. Cassian Kane, who would have thought I'd run into a scoundrel like you? Finn McDonough, as flattering as always, I see. For Cassian to fully stand up, Finn wraps his large frame around him in a bone-crushing hug. It's great to see ya. Ah, you too. Let me introduce you to Nami. Nami, this is Finn. Finn and I have known each other since we were teenagers. He dated my uh, brother Donna here, or Donovan. Finn wraps both hands around yours in greeting. Lovely to meet you, Nami, and uh, before he convinces you otherwise, no, he spent most of that time following his big brother around like a puppy. Now, I'm doubly glad I have to meet you. I love hearing embarrassing stories about Cassian. Oh, firecracker, I like you already. In that case, let me tell you one about the time Cassian borrowed our boss's car without asking. You work together? Unsettling feeling washes over you as Cassian's eyes catch yours, urging you to humor Finn. Why are we humoring this man? I can't wait to hear what happened. Finn's grin widens and he slings a warm, friendly warm armor over Cassian's shoulder. As all of us were at the bosses when we got the call to meet up by the underpass, only when we got to the car to drive over, it's missing. Did you know it was Cassian who took it? We thought it was stolen, spent half an hour looking for it before he shows up with a dozen bags of salt and vinegar chips. I needed a snack and there was a huge sale, and then it was fate. You do have a way of thinking with your gut. Finn gestures down at the large plate of food in front of Cassian's chair. Good to see you've maintained your appetite, mate. Sometimes I think he'd eat me if he was hungry enough. Ah, uh, but I'm shh. As Finn roars with laughter, Cassian gives you a look that promises he'll devour you later, followed by a nod thanking you for handling the situation well. I wish I had. wasn't on my way out. I'd love to catch up more. Well, uh, have to plan for another time then. Make it soon. I'd hate to have to track you down. 
Finn winks, but the intensity of his gaze makes it feel more like a threat than a promise. As Finn leaves the room, you see a glint of something sticking out of the back of his pants. And your heart skips a beat as you realize it's a knife handle. What the hell just happened? Cassian covers his hands with yours. I'm sorry, Nami. They call me completely by surprise. I'm guessing when he said you work together, he didn't mean in the police force. No, Finn works for the Irish mob in Boston. That's how he met my brother. And he never knew I became a cop, so we used him to get me in while I was undercover. Wait, almost blew your cover? You kept it up this whole time. It really felt like you and Ben are friends. It's complicated. My brother and him were inseparable, and when he took me under his wings years later, being friends with him made me feel even closer to Donovan. Ben was devastated when Donovan died, and we bonded over our loss. I can't even imagine what that felt like to, for you to have your own al alliances so torn. Covering his hands on either side of your face, Cassian presses his lips to yours. Nothing bad is gonna happen, all that stuff with Finn is in the past. But what if he knows the O'Connells? I doubt he does. He was in a completely different branch in the mob when I uh, knew him. Besides, the O'Connells are safely locked up in prison. Yep, that'll stop messages from getting up. Okay, I guess you have a point. This is not the start to a relaxing vacation, I imagine. Forget about everything for a minute. The time you found, you're out, you're surprised. Oh, yes, you've made me wait much too long already. It'll be worth it, I promise. Giddy, with anticipation, you head outside with Cassian to hop onto the motorcycle behind him. Scoot against closer. Er, Cassian. Let me know when you're settled. You kiss Cassian's cheek as you wrap your arms around his waist, basking in the firm feeling of his backside pressed into you. I'm ready for anything. Welcome to Ireland, as we... The engine wraps to life, and soon you're traveling through the valleys so through the steeper hillsides. Some time later, Cassian turns the motorcycle off, and you tug off your helmet to find the Irish coastline stretching out before you. Where are we? The Cliffs of Moher. There's no other place like it. I can see why you love it here so much. Nearly every inch of this land has a legend associated with it. I used to know many of them by heart. As Cassian speaks, a strong wind rushes up from the water's edge, whipping your hair around and sending a shiver through you. Ah, yes, Diamond Moment. Asked to hear about a thingy. Maybe you can tell me more once you, uh, while, while you warm me up. Come here. I'll see what I can do. He holds out his arms to you, and you fall back into them, huddling against his chest as you look out at the water. His lips touch your hair as he hugs your arms and chest lightly. Covering your back with his open jacket. Hmm, much better. I'm ready to hear a legend now. Well, even as a kid, I always loved the tragic love stories. Of course you did. You're a hopeless romantic. Not too hopeless since I got you to fall for me. Fair enough, go on. If you look closely at that rock in the sea there, you'll see that it resembles a woman's face. Let me guess. She was a gorgeous maiden who bewitched all with her beauty. Well, she was a witch, but someone called her an old hag, so the rock is called Hag's Head. What kind of, What the hell kind of story is this? A tragedy, for she was desperately in love with a dashing hero who never returned her love. Ah, uh, I know how this feels. I guess that is pretty sad, especially if uh, he called her an old hag to her face. Actually, the tragic part is that he ran from her until she couldn't keep up anymore, and she fell to her death on the rocks. This is one of the least romantic stories I've ever heard. You feel Cassian's wolfish grain against your shit cheek. That's one of the milder ones. I could tell you some more nightmarish ones. He gives you a squeeze, tickling your sides as you bat him away with a laugh and step away from his teasing hands. Don't you dare. I've had my share of disturbing legends for one day. 
a flock of birds soars across the sky above the crashing waves, and you're once again filled with a sense of awe looking out over the cave cliffs. As far as surprises go, this is a pretty good one. When Cassian doesn't respond right away, you realize that he's no longer standing beside you. He's kneeling on the ground with a small box in his hand. That wasn't your surprise. Your heart feels too tight for your chest as he slowly opens the box reveal. Oh my god. As you gaze down at him, your head pounds, not to in shock, but in fear of the tiny little symbol of a huge goddamn commitment. Blood soars in your ears as you try to process what's happening, thinking it difficult to hear the words Cassie is saying clearly. Not me. Love. I know things with us are far from traditional. We got to know each other in Witsek, for Christ's sake. But I like that there's never a dull moment with us. Something in the air shifts, and you find it hard to focus on anything but the sudden feeling of being watched from afar. A moment later, a bullet whizzes through the air so close to your face you can feel the heat of it on your cheek. Ah! Oh, come on. Really? <sighs> sadness. Just sadness. I thought my dress was supposed to be on the floor later. I thought he was going to devour me later. None of these things happened. I am so upset with this story, Locum. I am too, don't worry. Without further ado, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head to the description below, links to social media, Discord, if you like to support me and my content. Remember, Last of Us 2 Part 1 is currently up on the channel, and there will be more to come. I'll be streaming it later this evening um, on Twitch. The link down below for that if you want to join us. And uh, there's been quite a few episodes uploaded on Twitch for that series as well. And uh, pretty much long story short, hopefully to see you all there. Otherwise, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.